Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today? I uh, didn't think I'd be chatting with you uh, this week as we're kind of on vacation, but um, man, did I have a shitload of laundry to do yesterday. <laughs> so we came back from our weekend and um, I'll talk to you more about that after if you want to hear about it. So let's get to the bags first. Now, I did list two bags on Friday. One has already sold, which was a beautiful, very, very, very well-used um, roots. It was gorgeous. And I actually have it a uh, before and after on my Facebook page, uh, which is uh, just Leather Bag Lady. And um, it's beautiful. And it's gone off to... A repeat customer, she also bought another Roots bag, uh, Samiko. So thank you if you watch the videos. I, I really appreciate your business. And actually, I had a couple of other uh, re uh, re return customers. Oh, my goodness me. So here we are. It is Tuesday. Where are we? July 27th, 28th, something like that. Um Leather Bag Lady Weather Report, it was just pouring a minute ago. Uh, it's gotten a little brighter, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and I'll talk to you more about the weekend after we're done. So the reason I mentioned uh, the bags I listed on Friday was because I did not link a video to them. And then the Roots one sold. So this is a bag I listed on Friday. It's kind of unique. Um, the brand is Andy. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. You know what? These glasses are so crap. Um, I can get it so that it's not glaring. I don't know if you can see that. Now, I have uh, Googled this brand. Not a lot of information. There are a few um, other bags out there for sale, this exact uh, shape. Uh, there's a really cool pink one. Um, but the black, all my bags are black today. And you know what? I was thinking about what I was going to put as my uh, video title. I mean, I always put the leather bag experience, and I got that from Joe Rogan. Just because how the heck... Do you come up with something unique to say every day pretty well? So I number the episodes and then when I do my description, I'll try and put a little catchy something. And today I was going to say today's uh, all black day, but then I thought maybe I'm not allowed to say that. I don't know. I'm not prejudiced in any way, in any direction, but... Um, you know, I have had a couple of experiences with saying the wrong thing. So I don't know. But today's bags are all black. So here we go. Um, this great little bag, like I said, it's got a really cool shape. It has a strap that you could... I mean, how cool is that to have a little chain strap? And then you can feed it all the way through. I'm not going to do it because... Um, some like there is a little prong that's lifted here i am going to fix that so i don't want to pull it through and damage it um to be honest i probably would leave it this way just because i do prefer a shoulder bag and the strap really isn't long enough to do anything else i don't think but i mean it's up to you it will pull through and i will um straighten that little little guy out so it's got a full uh, metal frame in it. So it opens up like that and it's got hinges in the corner. It's just really cool. Now there is, it does feel like there's a little bit of puckering here on the interior, like between the lining and the leather. It's quilted. It's a little quilted. So um, I think it's just, from when it opens up because it does seem to kind of fall where the bag is its widest inside um there's no compartments at all but it's in excellent excellent condition and then you just snap it shut so just a cool different little offering there and as you can see it is a little puckered but once you've got something in there you're not going to notice that so 
that's bag number one that was listed last week. So now these bags I have just listed, um, just daily driver bags, you know, just coming across these uh, great leather, you know, everyday bags. What is that? Oh, there we go. So these have all just been cleaned. I've just spent the morning um, cleaning these inside and out. So this has great pockets, one here, one here with the magnetic snap. Just got a little hang tag just telling you it's leather. There is a detachable strap and it is adjustable. And then you've got your top handles and then inside you've got a very small foam pouch. So I've listed this early 2000s and then another slip pocket and then a zipper. There is a tiny little bit of bobbling on the interior. I have tried to um, use my uh, shaver. The shaver I have is really garbage, so I need to order another one. So when I, if anybody does purchase this bag, I will make sure that that is taken care of. Crazy long strap, 27 inch snap drop. Uh, <laughs> it's not a snap drop it's a strap drop oh my god and the sun's coming out oh my goodness me this weather's crazy um zipper top and this really cute uh little lace detail in the front you know it, it doesn't take much to make a bag just that little different and um yeah so that's bag number one nice little gusset on it so it'll stand up beautifully it is very very um soft no structure to it i prefer those bags especially if you are going to wear it crossbody because um the bag i well what was that did what did i have over my shoulder i can't remember what it was i had over my shoulder this weekend Oh, it was my Ikea, you know, those blue Ikea bags. I took it to the post office yesterday and I wiped off the whole counter at the post office when I turned around. So anyway, that's bag number two, but the first bag I have listed today. Now this next bag is just, again, another daily driver. The brand is Opal and I do believe that that's a naturalizer brand, um, there is, I'm not sure, it's not smoke, it, it's not, it, it's not bad, but there is a, a slight odor to it. Um, I don't, I don't really know what it is. Sometimes when people have bags stored, you know, next to, I don't know, God forbid a kitchen or, or something. I mean, it's not a... It's not a bad smell, but there is there is a scent. So obviously I'm going to disclose that because the last thing I want is for somebody to get at home and say, oh, I can't manage that. So I have put some silica packs in it that is supposed to absorb any uh, odors. But I love this bag. Um, the Opal brand, I do believe, is is uh, offshoot of Naturalizer, which is a, a Canadian company, I'm pretty sure. The leather is lovely and it is a daily driver for sure. There is a zipper on the back. You've got a top handle and a detachable strap. It opens up and then you've got all these compartments. So zipper, compartment, zipper, divider, compartment. And then you've got a compartment in the front with all these card holders. So it's like a little mini wallet. So it's a great bag, great daily driver. The leather is beautiful. So I've conditioned it all, I've cleaned it all. It's it's a nice bag, really, really nice bag. And I like the fact that it's got this little, I prefer this top handle to, to these top handles. If these top handles were longer and I could use it on my shoulder, prefer this all day long. But for a small handle, I like this one better. I just feel it's um, it, it stays out of the way more when you do decide to wear it crossbody. And that's that. So there's your compartments all on the bottom. They've got some good gussets in them. And this bag will stand up nicely. 
I just like it. You know what it reminds me of? And I've said this before of the old uh, air stewardess bags back in the seventies where, you know, they were just jammed full of stuff and they always had the flap over the top and all the compartments. So I really like this bag. I think I like it a little better than the other one for quality and the other one I like it a little better for style, I guess. So, but I mean, we all like different things, I believe quite strongly that there is an owner for every bag. I mean, sometimes I see the bags that are selling on my Etsy page and I think, like they're so not what I would think would sell. But anyway, that's the way it goes. So that's my two bags I've listed today and the one bag I listed on Friday. So hopefully you all had a great weekend. Um, we had a wedding. We were in Collingwood on Saturday and oh my goodness me, it rained. This poor girl, it was Bruce's niece. Um, I mean, they were uh, they were wonderful. I mean, we got there at noon and it just poured and poured and poured to the point where we couldn't even hear basically them saying their vows because it was raining so hard. Her dress, God bless her, I don't know if she'd be able to clean it. I mean, the bottom part of it was just a mess and it was all applique and sequins. It was so pretty. Um, well, her husband is just so low key. They've been together for quite a few years, so maybe that had something to do with it. But Bruce's sister and her husband were just having so much fun. We went with Bruce's brother, um, uh, Brian. Now, I don't know if any of you follow me um, from Loyola, uh, my old high school. And I'm not sure Brian would be thrilled with me sharing this, but you know what? It's been 18 months almost now that I've been with Bruce. And... Brian was a math teacher at Loyola High School in Oakville. And had I not been the dummy in math that I was, he would have been my teacher. So I can't tell you how weird it was to be going and hanging out for the weekend with my teacher. Um, it was a little odd. But you know what? We had a great time. We really did. I was a little bit unsure about it. But we really did have a good time. And Suzanne, Brian's wife, is just a bit of a party animal. So we had a great time. And then we went to Wasega yesterday. We went back to Wasega. Oh, my goodness me. You thought that the July 1st trip we took was busy? It was insane to the point where... I could see Suzanne getting a little bit claustrophobic and it was definitely more of a family day yesterday or um, Sunday than it was the July 1st weekend. That was just dummies on the beach getting drunk and doing stupid shit. But yesterday or Sunday was really very much a family uh, day. But and, and they just kept coming. I mean, we left at 2, 2.30 to go back to the little hotel that we stayed at. We weren't able to get into the previous hotel because they were fully booked. But this one was just great. They had a nice pool. There was a whole bunch of biker chicks there. It was great. We really, really enjoyed ourselves. And then we got home yesterday. Bruce dropped me here. I was a flipping laundry lady for the day. And I just needed a day to regroup, unpack, sort my stuff out, and get ready for today because we are off to Sarnia today. Now, we were supposed to be taking my mom, and if that had happened, we would have been probably almost there by now. But my aunt in Sarnia is not feeling too good, and over the weekend, she really didn't feel good. So my dad took my mom uh, early, and I'm not sure whether we'll be bringing her back with us on Thursday or not. I'm not sure. But looking forward to uh, staying in Point Edward, which is um, where the Blue Water Bridge is over to Michigan and it's just absolutely beautiful. It's just gorgeous. It is supposed to rain today, but supposed to be beautiful tomorrow. And I'm not even sure my aunt's up to any company. So we're just gonna get there. I'll call my mom and see how things are. We'll go visit for sure. Cause I'd like them, my aunt and uncle to meet Bruce. But um, yeah, that's it. Uh, what else is going on? I'm gonna be thrifting. You bet your sweet ass. I'm going to be thrifting in Sarnia because I did so much better there than I did um, 
in Hamilton. And Hamilton is just so picked over. But before I go, because holy shit balls, we're 14 minutes in, 15 minutes now. Um, I did thrift at the same Thy Village in Barrie yesterday on our way home. And let me show you what I got. It's not vintage. But if there are any of you out there who know Patricia Nash bags, look at this beautiful bucket bag by Patricia Nash. She's very kind of Western. And, and she, here's another one. She has a real look. Like, I pretty well know a Patricia Nash bag when I see one. So, look at the twisted handles on that. Oh, the smell of leather. That's her little logo there. So, you know, they're, they're very similar in um, colorway, but the leather quality. And they just have that real Western vibe. So, um, I'll pick these up all day long. And I've looked online, and I think new, this is like $189. So this is a uh, current, a current, um, a current bag, a current style. Oh my God, what's going on with me today? So just a little update on what I've been up to. Not sure I will be, well, maybe I'll do a little video from Sarnia. Who knows? But I hope you're all doing well. Enjoy the rest of July. Can you believe we're almost done July already? And I will speak to you probably Friday, I would say. And let's hope I get a ton of great stuff. Anyway, everybody, have a good one. Be good. And if you can't be good, be careful. And I will talk to you on Friday, hopefully. Bye, everybody.